hello thank you for coming in hey there ladies I'm super excited for today's session because we're gonna be talking about the first step to creating your freedom based business okay we're gonna be talking about getting crystal clear on your escape vision right you escaping from the nine to five the hustle and grind era right so if you're like I used to be you know that leaving your nine to five is 100% the goal but what does that freedom look like for you personally that's what we want to talk about today we're gonna to define that we're gonna deep dive into that so I am Karina Calhoun I'm a life and business strategist specifically for introverted women and I'm super thrilled to be here with you all today just to let you know I do have a link in pinned in the comment section and it is a link to my resource hub it does give you a list of everything uh, anywhere from scheduling a breakthrough the noise strategy session with me all the way to any of the products or services that you want to hone in on with working with me so super thrilled about that so if you want to take a look at that go ahead and take a look so dialing back into this first step to creating our escape vision which is freedom right unintentionally wore this shirt today which it says celebrating freedom this is a shirt that I created years ago because I was celebrating freedom. I was celebrating freedom from debt. I was f celebrating freedom from the nine to five grind. I was celebrating freedom from the grind and hustle culture. I was just celebrating freedom, that personal freedom. And I inadvertently wore this shirt today. How amazing is that? So I just want to let you know that this step that we're taking is such a foundational step, right? Because if you don't have a clear vision of what you're working towards, it's easy to feel stuck and it's easy to feel confused. So we're going to dig into what freedom means to you in terms of time money, location, and decision making, right? Decision making. So if you're watching live or if you're watching the replay, I would love for you to drop an emoji in the in the comments and let me know if you've ever daydreamed about working from anywhere in the world. So drop an emoji, anything you want in the comments and let me know if you've ever daydreamed about working from anywhere in the world i know for myself that is a key goal for me to be able to work my business from anywhere in the world wherever i decide to find myself at any given time i want to be able to run my business full force with no hiccups no hesitations no issues right there and so i see that Aqu aquanita has put in a thumbs up so aquanita is looking to run her business from anywhere in the world so listen this is absolutely key right to our escape vision so the first thing that i want to go through is key point one and that is clarify your why behind wanting to escape the nine to five right you want to clarify your why behind wanting to escape the nine to five so when we start with the why why do you want to leave the, your nine to five in the first place why do you want to leave this goes beyond just wanting more money or flexibility dig deep into your motivations what's driving you is the desire for more control over your time is it the ability to work from anywhere you want or maybe it's creating something meaningful that really aligns with your own values so this first step is not just simply jotting down a word or a few words or even a few sentences but it's more of uh, really dialing into your why the power of a strong why can be your anchor all right the power of a strong why can be your anchor it's what's going to keep you moving forward when those th those times get tough because listen things are gonna get tough 
business entrepreneurship business building it is not for the faint at heart it is not for the weak it does take time it does take strength it does take energy it does take you dialing in and so when you have a clear and strong reason behind your desire to escape that nine to five you're much more likely to stay that course right you're much more likely to stay that course so i want you to take a moment if you're watching live not a problem just jot this down if you're watching the replay maybe pause it but i want you to take a moment to write down your biggest reason for wanting freedom for your from your nine to five why is it so important to you why is it so important to you why is freedom from your nine to five escaping from your nine to five why is it so important to you right why is that so important so that's going to be your first step right we're taking the first step to freedom on really creating your escape vision because listen we're escaping we're escaping. We're escaping the thing that has been, it's taken up most of our time, most of our day, time from our family, time from things that we enjoy. Yes, it's been a resource, but it's not our source, right? So the second key, the second point is visualize your future business and your lifestyle. What does your future business and your future lifestyle look like, right? Let's talk about that vision for your future. What does your dream lifestyle look like once you have left that nine to five? This is where you get to dream big, like really big. Think about how you want to spend your time, how much money you want to make, where you want to live, and where do you want to work? What kind of decisions you're going to be making? I'll share a little bit of mine with you. I have my one of my big dreams. It's one of my big dreams is to, to, to buy the big boy RVs, right? The big boy, the big boy, the one that it has a full size, full size refrigerator, a full size stove and oven, dishwasher, wash machine and dryer bathroom with shower it has a living room with a flat screen tv it has a a area for you know a kitchen to sit down and eat it has multiple bedrooms more than one bathroom so i want my husband and i to be able to travel around the nation travel around the nation just just park and and live and that location maybe for it could be a day or it could be a month or it could be a year or it could be two months it could be however long we want to stay in any location in the nation for as long as we want and just travel and work from anywhere that we so choose that is one that is just one of my big dreams right so that's what my lifestyle looks like right for my big dream. So that's one of the things that I'm working towards. So you want to think about time, money, location, decisions. What does freedom look like for you? Because freedom looks different for everyone. It looks different for everyone. Do you want to have a flexible work schedule? You want to have flexible work hours? Do you want to be location independent? Do you want to want to earn a specific income level? You want to make key decisions without needing approval from anyone else. Listen, you know, having to go to someone and say, hey, can can I have PTO so that I can go see my family member? We want to have independence in those areas, right? So what are the things that are important to you? So visualize it clearly. The clearer you are about your ideal future, the easier it will be to create a plan that aligns with that vision. So even if you have to close your eyes and picture your future business or your lifestyle, think about what you are doing. How do you feel? How do you feel? Like I can feel myself during this time 
traveling with my husband. I feel excited. I feel rested. I feel less stressed, right? So take a few minutes after this session and write down a detailed description of what freedom looks like for you in the terms of time, money, location, and decisions. Okay, so write that down. Now, the third thing that we want to look at as we are creating our escape vision is aligning your business vision with your introverted strengths, right? So I want you to look at how your vision aligns with your introverted strengths. And the reason why I want to focus on this is because sometimes we feel like being an introvert can hinder us, but it doesn't. It doesn't. One of the biggest keys to building a successful business that feels good is making sure it plays to your natural strengths instead of draining your energy. So we want to leverage your strengths, right? We want to leverage your strengths and we want to avoid the energy drainers. So when it comes to leveraging your strengths, maybe you're great at deep thinking, maybe you're great at listening, maybe you're great at building one-to-one -one relationships. How can you design your business in a way that takes advantage of these strengths, right? When it comes to avoiding the energy drainers, the beauty of creating your own business is that you get to decide how things are run. You get to decide that. Think about the things that typically drain your energy, whether it's large group settings, constant video calls, maybe endless networking events. Consider how you can avoid them or minimize them or make them work to your advantage, right? So write down your top three strengths as an introvert and how you can incorporate these into your business, business vision. So I want you to do that. Again, you can do this after so that you're able to really dial in, okay? So if you're watching the replay, I want you to still drop this in the, in the comments, but on a scale of one to 10, how clear do you feel about your future business vision right now? On a scale of one to 10, how clear do you feel, right? About your future business vision right now at this moment? Because this was really designed to just kind of get the palette wet to begin to think about those things that we can dial into. So just as a recap, a couple of things that we've covered, you want to clarify your why, right? You know, you now know the deep reason behind your desire to escape your nine to five, right? That's number one. Number two, you're going to visualize your future. You've painted a picture of what freedom looks like in your terms of mo time, money, location, and decision, right? And then the third thing is you're going to align your vision with your strengths. You're, des you're designing a business that plays to your introverted strengths and avoids the things that drain you. So I'm going to read Aquanetta says, um, business outlook, stress and freedom of flexibility of time to build momentum for a greater quality of life for citizens dealing with memory, care and undeserved uh, dream of freedom, freedom to travel to places, creating meaningful relationships for networking. Top t top three strengths, communication, listening, motivation and for clarity, she's at a five. So in between has done really well, but but still has just the ways to go. So really great job on that, Aquanetta. So I want you to really take the time to write down your why, visualize your future lifestyle in detail, okay? In great detail. List your top three introverted strengths. The clearer you are, the easier it'll be to take the action that you need to take. And don't forget, I did put in the comments, again, a resource page where I'm sharing additional tips, uh, tools, and things of that nature to help you along your journey. You can find everything that I'm working on in one place. That link is pinned, so take a look at that. If you want to schedule a Break Through the Noise strategy session, which is a complimentary session, if you want to schedule that with me, you can also grab that on there as well. 
So I'd love to hear your thoughts, your questions, any comments that you have. Where are you in terms of defining really your your escape vision? Drop your questions in the comments and I'll be happy to help. And remember, whether you watch the replay or you watch it live, I am here to support you. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And I want you to remember that creating your escape vision is, is, is that first step. It's that first step toward your freedom-based business. So let's get out there. Let's make it happen. And as you can see, again, I'm celebrating freedom. And I feel like we all here in this community deserve to be able to celebrate the freedom that we so choose. So have an amazing rest of your day and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Bye for now.